Alma VIII arrived at the remote lands of Quinton, and the wounds he received at the hands of the demon army had proved eventually to be quite fatal. And the hopes of Alma's followers looked to the heavens in vain, for they could not save their king. My king, please forgive us. We are able to hold only a plain ceremony to mark your eternal rest. Oh, Sayoku, oh, goddess of light. Now, prince, you must reign as king. And thus, the title of king would be carried on by his son, Armor the Ninth. The new king, as required of his position, must wed a princess of a neighboring country. Although in love with his princess, revenge for his father was forefront in his mind, as he swore to strike down Valenese. Chelsea, what's the matter? <laughs> Your Majesty, for Chelsea, this is the day when her tears of sorrow have changed to tears of joy. Although she is fearful of your vow to defeat the evil monster Valenese, she truly is happy on this her wedding day. The new queen would give her life for you. She loves you so. I couldn't be happier. Chelsea, everyone is waiting. You must show them your beautiful smiling face. Please allow me, your nanny, to bid you much happiness. Oh, Marie. And on this joyous day, Quentin was blessed as the only place in the lands of Cheshire to enjoy the warmth of the kind Sabrina, the goddess of light. And the crowd cheered as their new king prepared to wed his love, Chelsea. Yet unbeknownst to the cheering crowd, Belenese was determined to extinguish even the last bit of light from Quentin. such a time of celebration. King of Cheshire, enveloped by darkness, drew his sword, and from the depths of his sorrow left Castle Quentin, vowing to destroy Belenese, the dark wizard who had killed his father and now has taken his only true love. 